Hey there, Afrodo here. As you can tell, this isn't really a review, this is more of a vlog, I guess. I just want to talk about it. I figured I'd start doing this end of the month stuff to talk about the, the what I read over the month, what I plan to do for next month, and in general, just do some stuff. Maybe I'll, I, I'm gonna do a challenge at the end of this. I don't know if I'm gonna do it every time, but I did see this challenge on a different booktubers video. And I, it looked interesting to do, so I figured I'd do it. But that's not what you're here for right now. Right now, let's do this. So over the past month, as you can see, I, I read a lot of either lesser known or fan works. Personally, my favorite of all the books that I read was the Star Trek Next Generations. This this was a really good book. I wasn't exaggerating much in my review at all. I, it, this is good. I really recommend this, but you can read the review to see why. Now, obviously, you you know that I didn't like the Doctor Who very much, but I honestly had fun reading all these books. None of these books were so bad that they just weren't fun to read. Those are ultimately the really bad books. That's why I really haven't found a anything below a four. As long as it's fun to read, I'm not. I'm willing to you know put it, put it on a four rather than a, anything else. It's still most of the time four still deserve Mount Doom. Don't get me wrong, but whatever. I'm rambling. So, for the next month, you'll have to forgive me, you're probably going to see some cuts here and there. Uh, but I am also talking to someone on Discord, I just kind of fired this up at the moment without warning anyone, so... Apologies. So, for next month, I don't really have a set schedule. The only one I know for sure that I'm going to do at the start of the month is Star Wars. Yeah, that actually was an accident on my part, I, I wanted to release a Star Wars EU review closer to May 4th back when I first started this channel and then I completely forgot about May 4th until I had already edited and scheduled my Primordia review to be uploaded and by then it just seemed too late to just put a review out there out of the blue so and I want to stick to my schedule for the reviews for the most part to just keep consistent with these little vlog posts I'm not really as worried about when they come out, Just I'm just going to put them out as I feel fit. I may do this at the end of the month all the time, but again, I'm not sure 100%. I'll see how this goes over. But yeah. So yeah, from now on, I'm going to try to make May Star Wars month. Now obviously I might run out of books, but I have plenty of EU books back there. You, you can't quite see it, but you, you see where that, see that far bookshelf back here? That has a whole bunch of EU, D&D, &D, all, all my expanded universe novels, and Redwall, because I didn't know I was to fit that series. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I'm going to start with a Star Wars book. After that, I think I'm just going to kind of do what, what I feel like as it comes. Um, I will have to warn you guys, June is the month of birthdays in my family. And... It probably will always be a lot busier than it would be on any other month so if there's any delay in uploads or anything like that or I don't get back to you guys on comments like I normally try to do it, it, it is because I, I'm busy with family stuff my my sis my older sisters my mom's and my late dad's birthday is all on those days and I know it seems weird to include my dad on there but we still like doing something for his birthday so in memory but yeah anyways so, like I said, I'm going to start with a Star Wars review. I think I might go into one of my YA books that I have. I don't, I'm going to assure you guys, I don't just hate YA because it's YA. I don't like a lot of YA books, but I do like quite a few. So, but I might go for more bad one that I have. Again, I don't have a set schedule. So I apologize if this is kind of me repeating points over and over. I don't have a, any sort of script for this. This is mostly talk about this, talk about this, talk about this, talk about this, done. So yeah, I at least have a very well thought out outline for my reviews, even if I try not to keep them completely scripted. But yeah, so this upcoming month, I really don't have any plans. So we'll just have to see what they are as they come. I think that's pretty much it in terms of the month of what I'm going to do and what I did. So let's do this challenge I found. Now, I don't know who started it, but what I found was, do I have that book challenge? Apologies, a lot of this is gonna have to be cut. 
But basically, this is a do I have that book challenge. It's a small little challenge where you go through a list and you determine if you have these books based on very specific factors of it. Uh, so I'm just going to go through that and see if I can pass most of it. It just seemed like fun to do, so I'm going to do it. Whatever. So, again, I don't know who did the who started the challenge, otherwise I'd tell you, but... Yeah. So the first one. Do I have a book with deckled edges? Yeah, I do. I actually have quite a bit. But my the ones I want to show off the most are these three Hemingway that I found at a thrift store. I really like them. They're, these are quite old, but as you can see, they all have the deckled edges pages. So yeah, I do have plenty of books with deckled edges. And that's, that's not to include all the other ones I have that are around here somewhere. I, just, I don't want to dig them all up <laughs> just to show off how many. So, do I have a book with three or more people on the cover? Oh, well, that's easy. I just read one. <laughs> so, yeah. No, no. Star Trek Next Generation is my choice for that. Do I have a book based on another fictional story? I guess it really depends on what it means by this. Is Are we talking like a fan book? Or are we talking about like Dorothy Must Die? Where it's based on an older story, but it doesn't quite use that story at, for itself. So yeah, uh, either way, I do have one. you already seen me review Dorothy Must Die. And then I have a whole bunch of fan works. So yeah, that's a yes for me. I'll go with Dorothy Must Die for now, because that seems like it fits better. Do I have a book with a title 10 letters long? I guess, yeah, I obviously do. I have plenty of books like that. That honestly seems like one of the easiest ones in this, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll choose, I will choose an obscure one and say The Quarantine, which has one, two, three, four, five. Quarantine, The Loners. I'm gonna guess that it has to be 10 exactly, not more or less, so Quarantine. I might get to this book eventually. I haven't read it yet, but it seemed interesting given the light of 2020 stuff. So, yeah. Do I have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Now that one is tougher. I'm gonna have to look around for a sec, but I should. I found my choice, guys. Roar by Cora Carmack. Again, I haven't read this one. I have a lot of books up there I haven't quite gotten to, but Roar, that's my choice. Do I have a mass paperback book? This one isn't even trying, is it? I have so many, I don't even think I could pull them all out. So yes. 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 This said, this one said it was mass. These are all said they were mass paperback when I bought them online. So, should go on with that. Since you probably don't want me to sit there in my bookshelf screaming yes every five minutes. Yes, I have plenty. So, number seven. Do I, do I have a book written by an author using a pen name? Does Stephen King count? <laughs> okay, let's assume Stephen King doesn't count. I also have J.K. Rowling. I even have her non-Harry Potter stuff. Don't worry. Bottom Thrift Store. Again, I'm not going to get into authors with um, problematic issues just yet, but I do want to do a video about it eventually. So yeah, I have a lot. Do I have a book with two maps in it? Ooh, that one. That one actually might tax me. Give me a sec there. Does this have it? No, this has one map. Nope, oh, that's just one. That's only one. Oh. 
one. Well, it looks like I've been defeated on this one. I can't find any of my books that I do have maps. Don't have more than one. Darn you. Wait. Does an atlas count? <laughs> no, it actually looks like this has defeated me. Darn. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think I've defeated it. Tolkien's The Hobbit. Boom. And if I need to, I will pull up the Semovalian or the Fellowship of the Ring and check them. But I think this counts, so I'm going with this. Number 10. Do I have a book that was turned into a TV show? I got one better. I got one we're living in real life. So, I'm 10 for 10 so far. Let's keep going. 11. Do I have a book that was written by someone who was originally famous for something else? I.e. a celebrity, athlete, politician, or TV personality? Yes, again. I have quite a few over here. Most of them are biographies, but I have a... I have Shirley Temple's Black Child Star back there. Along with Barack Obama's, along with Barack Obama's dreams from my father, so yeah, it's actually quite. I have actually have quite a bit. I'll put this here for now. Twelve. Do I have a book with a clock on the cover? This one may get me. Um. So, does a clock tower count? If not, then no. I don't think so. But if it does, aha! Do I have a poetry book? Um, yes, I do. It's somewhere back there. I have, ooh, Edgar Allan Poe obviously counts. I have a whole bunch of his works back there. Edgar Allan Poe. So I have a whole bunch of poetry books. Unless it's supposed to be solely poetry, in which case I'm not sure that I do. So, yeah, poetry is not, I'm not big on poetry myself. I wish I could get into it more, but I, I can't. So, do I have a book with an award stamped on it? Oh well, yeah, you've already seen a couple. I already got The Handmaid's Tale. I have where the no, nope, that's actually a book club. Never mind. I'll use this one. Ella Enchanted. Which has the Newberry Honor... Newberry Honor Book Award. Aha! I'm still winning, maybe. It's fun. <laughs> Do I have a book written with an author who has the same initials as me? Don't think so, actually. I think this is the one that's gonna get me, guys. That's a no. I've been defeated. Page fi number 15 took me down. Urgh. I'm not gonna tell you what the initials are since I didn't have one. I'm gonna leave you guessing at my real name still. Do I have a book of short stories? Yes. I have Writers of the Future, which is by Erwan Hubbard, which is a bunch of short sci-fi stories. And if that doesn't quite count, I have Primeval, where a series of horror authors wrote short horror stories. So, oh, back on track, guys. Do I have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages? This list is really testing me. Ah, 487, guys, close. Oh, wait, wait. Aha! Uh -huh. If if the afterword counts, yes, with Storm and Fury. If not, I don't know. I can't go through all my books and check the freaking page number, but that that that's such a narrow gap. I'm probably gonna have to say no for now. Do I have a book that was turned into a movie? Come on, guys, give me a hard one. And that's just some of the ones. That's just the closest ones to me when I saw this. So that's 18. 19. Do I have a graphic novel? 
I mean, I guess it depends on what we're calling graphic novels. I have a Sherlock Holmes not thing graphic novel here. I got the entire Mass Effect comic book omnibus, but I don't know if comics count as graphic novels. So yeah, I do. Do I have a book that's written by two or more authors? Again, give me a hard one, guys. Stephen King and Peter Straub will be my choice for that one. And with that, that is the final of the books. So, I beat this challenge with one loss and one maybe. So yeah. What do I win? Nothing? Oh. Well, I guess I'll see you guys later then.